Okay, here in uh, my open guard, we're just gonna throw in this lasso. You notice I'm a little on my side here. Okay, keeping that hand nice and deep. I'm gonna pull him in so I can get a nice grip on his collar. When I'm ready to enter this position, I'm gonna pinch his form with my calf and flex my hamstring a little bit and quickly switch all five fingers to the tricep. Elbow is tight against the leg. As I kick through, I'm gonna let my knee come through. I'm gonna punch against his neck to keep that space open for my leg to clear his head. Okay, now as I start to come up to my elbow before I move my hips, I'm just gonna really pinch uh, with my heel against the top of his shoulder and my stomach against his form, okay? I can also hold the elbow if you like, but most important is just keep this, this pinch. Maybe before I finally get up to my Moplata, he's able to do a forward roll here, okay? So he's rolling over the inside shoulder and I'm just gonna follow it all the way to my knees here. Staying nice and tight on his form. I wanna take that top side control position. Okay, we're giving up the omoplata for a second here, but we're never gonna lose control of the arm. So we're gonna bring in the knees together, okay? Allowing the elbow to slip out by keeping the form in position. Now my partner's gonna try to turn into the top, right? He's gonna try to knock me over. I don't have a great base here, so he's gonna take advantage of that. But that's okay, it's part of my base. So as he's starting to come up this way here, he finds his base, he finds his knees, but his arm is still stuck. So I have to keep faith in this position that I'm not gonna allow his shoulders to rise through this anchor that I have in his arm, okay? Uh, as he's building his position here, I'm opening up my elbow. He wants to continue to posture, but he's stuck in this position. That's pretty much as far as he can go, okay? I start pushing away on the head, and I'm able to finally let go in trade immediately for the other arm. Okay, I pass the leg over, and same thing applies here. I come to my elbow before I move my hips at all. I can force him to roll here if he doesn't want to roll by just turning to my knees, and he has to roll or tap. I get to my knees position. I'm coming to side control. I pinch the knees together again. He's trying to turn in. He's very likely not going to stay flat with me here. I'm going to give him what he wants by t taking me over. Okay, as he comes up, he's not able to to posture all the way up. Notice also on this side, my hook that's on the outside of his knee here. So I don't let him actually get to the other side of my body. I wanna keep him on this side by keeping this uh, foot as he comes up on his knee, keeping him on my right side, okay? As I come down, he continues trying to posture, but he can't move. I'm able to take my time to open up this elbow, so I make him, his lat, lose all this power, finally take the leg out, giving up the clamp, but immediately hooking on that far shoulder, pushing the head and passing my way to the close side shoulder, force that arm bent as much as it can be, come up, make him roll again. Okay, I force him to roll, or he rolls on his own. I sit nice and heavy on that arm, make sure he can't move out of this position. As I turn towards side control, clamp. He's turning, 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 bumps me over, bumps me over, look the hook the lower leg, that way I keep him on this side. He's gonna try to posture, he's gonna try to get to side control. He can't move his arm out, so that's anchoring his shoulder down to the floor here. Meanwhile, I'm opening up this elbow, I'm posting, and I'm letting go when I'm ready. He finally is gonna get his posture back, but I'm keeping that knee engaged here, heavy down, until that leg gets over. Bend the arm all the way, come up, force him to roll if he's not ruling already. Don't lose the arm, staying nice and tight. He's sitting heavy. And on it again, okay? Keep in mind, as he turns here, you could always choose to stay here, right? You could take side control. You could take Kimura as well. Kimura's right here. But if you're really hunting that omoplata, I'm gonna give him my balance as a bait, find that hook so he stays on this side, and it's just a never-ending circle here, okay? At some point, of course, I'm gonna give him his base back, and I have to catch up all the way with him and not allow him to fully escape. Go all the way to the omoplata, maybe loosen the arm a little bit, walking my hips behind his knee, and finally finishing the original intention that I had on the omoplata. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it. Just give it a try. <laughs>
Hey, this is Clark. If you liked the video you just watched, I'd like to invite you to check out ClarkGracieConnected.com where you'll find amazing world-class instructional content and new material added every week. I've helped thousands of people take their games to the next level and I can help you too. Thanks for watching.